Hey Chalk Nation, it's your girl Chalk and I am back with another vlog. And in this vlog, I am getting myself all the way together. I am getting my nails together. I am getting my hair together. And y'all know I got the details and the tea for y'all. So let's just jump right on into this vlog. It is raining so hard, y'all, like pouring down. Look at the rainbow. California weather is so bipolar because how I pull up to work and the sun comes out and there is a beautiful rainbow. How pretty. Okay, so I'm in the office now. Today is March the 2nd, Saturday. And let me just go over the fit for the day with y'all. So I got this hat from Target. It says melanated on it because y'all see all this melanin. And I think this hat is so cute because it's open at the top. So we just got our hair back in a bun. We looking, we looking a little rough today, but we gonna do something to this hair because yeah, we too cute to be out here in the streets with our hair not done. Um, but yeah, so these studs are from Timu. I believe I got this jacket from Fashion Nova a while back. So let me just show y'all my shirt because this shirt is from the merch that I created for you guys. This is from the Chalk Shop, which is my official merch. Um, this is from the Zodiac Collection. I am wearing Aquarius because I am an Aquarius. We have all the Zodiac signs and they come in different colors for each Zodiac sign. And of course, y'all know I'm into nails, so I had to incorporate nails somewhere into the collection. So we got the Aquarius nails because, you know, we team Aquarius. But we got all the Zodiac signs on the merch website which will be linked in the description of this video if you guys would like to support your girl i would greatly appreciate it and how cute is it get into it i am wearing a size extra large and i'm just wearing some joggers and of course i have my boots on y'all see the flexibility But anywho, y'all, let me get myself to work before I get in trouble. Um, when I get home, we got nails and hair to do because I've been walking around looking crazy. Nails not done, hair not done, like ain't nothing done. So we finna go home and get it together after work. So I'll call y'all back in a minute. Okay, Chalk Nation, so we are back at home and now it is time to get our nails together. And this set is from Shein. It was only $2.25. And yes, this is a set of duck nails. So let's get into the tutorial. So I spread it all the nails out. 25 nails come in the pack. And the first thing we need to do is size our nails to make sure that they fit our natural nails. And this one does not fit. Y'all saw that gap on the side. That means that nail is too small. So I grabbed one that is one size up. And as you can see, it is completely covering my nail bed from side wall to side wall. So that means that this nail is a perfect fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and size the rest of my fingers, but let's get into this one with the bling on it. So how cute is this? I love the bling. That is a butterfly in the middle. And then we have blue flowers, which is like perfect for spring. So this set is perfect for spring. I got this set during my first Shein nail haul of 2024. So if you missed that video, go check out the other nails that I got in that haul. And Shein has definitely been stepping their game up this year because the sets that I've been ordering this year have been so bomb definitely giving salon quality 
they're a lot thicker a lot more durable than they used to be i don't know what's going on but shein is doing their big one this year so this is the set that i put together now let's prep our natural nails so the set did come with a nail file and I'm going to use that nail file to gently shave the shine from the top of my natural nails. If you are new to my channel, this step is very important when it comes to prepping your natural nails for press on nails because you need to roughen up the surface of your natural nail and get rid of all the shine and oils so that your nails will stick and last a lot longer. And they last longer because you're not applying them to a shiny surface. You're applying them to a roughened surface so that glue is going to stick really well to your natural nails. And this is how your nails will look after you have shaved that shine from the top. And then the next thing I'm going to do is grab some alcohol and acetone mixture that I put together myself in equal parts of each. And I'm just spraying my nails down to further dehydrate my nails. So I'm using it as a nail dehydrator. And I'm gonna be using this brush on nail glue, which is also from Shein. And these nails and everything that I'm using in the video will be linked in the description. So make sure you guys check the description of this video out. So I also wanted to show you guys how to use your non-dominant hand when you are applying press on nails. Normally, my right hand is already done and then I'm doing the, my tutorials on my left hand, but I wanted to show how to apply nails using your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so I'm using my left hand and you pretty much do the same thing that you would do with your dominant hand. You just kind of use your dominant hand to aid you. So basically, you're just going to be maneuvering your right hand in the direction that you need it to go so that you can apply the glue effectively. And as you can see, I'm just dabbing the glue onto my natural nail. I cannot paint too well with my left hand. So instead of brushing that nail glue on, I am dabbing it on, making sure I have a nice bubble of glue so that when I line that press on nail up with the cuticle area and press down, my nails will adhere really well. If you don't apply enough glue and you just paint on or put on a thin layer of nail glue, your nails are not going to stick. So it's okay to over apply glue a little bit because you can always clean it up. But if you under apply, your nails are going to pop right off and then you're going to have to start all over from square one. And we're not perfect. We're going to make some mistakes, but the more you do it, the better you will get. So as you can see, I'm using my right hand, kind of turn it in, in the direction that I need it to be in order to apply the glue the right way with my left hand. And then we are going to line that press on nail up with our cuticle area, not on the cuticle, just below it. And then as you can see, when I press down, that glue spreads up. And then we just hold and press for 30 seconds, making sure we also press against the side walls. And look how bomb the nails are looking already. These nails are definitely giving salon quality. This is definitely a set that you don't have to do too much too and i know a lot of people don't like duck nails but i feel like these nails are not that ducky like from certain angles they almost look square so i like these duckies because they're not extra ducked out you know like <laughs> like i could deal with this kind of duck so now that we got all of our nails on, I'm just going to take that same nail file and shave down that little tip that always comes on the tip of press on nails and just shape them a little bit more. And as you can see, I can move that file real good back and forth using my right hand. But when it comes to doing that same motion with my left hand, I just cannot do it. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving my finger against the file. So this is another tip for using your non-dominant hand. Use your dominant hand to rub that nail against the file instead of using your non-dominant hand to file if it's too hard for you. 
the next thing we are going to do is apply a base and top coat this is the dynamic duo i love this brand it is also from shein and it will also be linked in the description i've used this base coat and top coat in a lot of my videos and i love it it definitely helps to take the nails up a notch and really add that extra thickness and shine to them so that they look like you are fresh out of the nail salon so i'm applying the base coat right now and just a thin layer you don't need to apply it too thick and then i'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds under a full power nail lamp so this one is from amazon and i'll make sure i link it in the description as well and after you've applied your base coat and cured it for 60 seconds now it's time to apply the top coat you can put the top coat on just a little bit thicker but not too much because you don't want it to be spilling and then you go under the light to cure it and it looks like you have a spill on your nails so be careful and also I do apply the top coat to the nails that have the rhinestones I just do not paint over the rhinestones because I want them to stay shiny and then after I've painted the top coat on all the nails I'm going to cure them for 60 seconds and boom just like that we got a bomb fresh set and you cannot tell me it do not look like i went to the nail shop and got my nails done it does not look like these nails were only two dollars the nail glue is really good as well i've used it in the past and sets have lasted up to two weeks i don't never keep my sets on for more than a week anyway or a few days but this glue is definitely good i highly recommend and i'm so glad i finally got my nails together what it do Chuck Nation so as y'all saw I did my duckies this is day three and the nails are still nailing um I was supposed to do my hair the same day but I didn't get around to doing it I'm at work right now um so I'm on my lunch break actually so when I get off, of course, we're going to hit the gym and then we're going to do something to this head because I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of wearing a hat and a bun. Like, we got to catch our hair up to our nails so it all can go together. But while I'm on my lunch break, I want to show y'all some things. I supported my co-worker Tracy's business. So I bought two items from her business. So I'm going to just step outside um, into the light so y'all can see these really good because they are so cute. Um, my co-worker's business is called Trace Sweet Stuff. And I will tag her in this video so y'all can see the type of cups and things that she makes. So... This one is a mug, and I got this one because I could definitely relate to everything that is on this cup. Because first of all, negativity can fuck off. And bitch, I am fabulous. I am worthy of good shit, and am. And it says manifest that shit, and do. And it says doing my fucking best, because aren't we all doing our fucking best? And if you're not doing your fucking best, then you need to be doing something to help you do your fucking best but yes i love this cup and this is the second cup that i got from trey sweet stuff and this one says cafecito y chisme which means chisme means gossip in spanish so don't act like y'all don't love a good uh chisme session where you know we spilling tea okay and how cute is this cup all the cups come with straws and a really cute straw topper and it's definitely giving cute i love the bling that's on the edge of the cup it has a glitter on the top which is really cute i love that it's a mug so yes support my girl tracy aka trace sweet stuff now let me go get the tea and cheese me. <laughs> okay, Chuck Nation. So I finished my shift at work and now it's time to get our hair done. So I ordered this hair from Amazon. 
and it is from Outre's line Big Beautiful Hair. It is a U-part wig, so it has a section for you to leave your natural hair out. I got it in the color Natural Black, and the texture of it is called Passion Coils, and it is a 20 inch. Now this is for the girlies that don't really know how to slay them lace fronts and stuff that everybody is wearing, like myself. So this was right up my alley. And the price was right up my alley too because it was only $30. And look how beautiful and full it is. Now she is a synthetic. She is a premium blend synthetic. So this is not a human hair wig, but baby, the texture is giving. So let's get into the construction of this wig. As you can see, there are three clips surrounding the leave out area of the wig where the U part is. And then we have two clips on each side of the head. And then it has one clip at the nape of the neck with a band. And it's like that thin bra strap band, but it's good enough to secure the wig onto your head as tight as you need it or loose as you need it to be. So my natural hair is just brushed back into a bun and I left a leave out to cover the wig around the U part so that the wig does not show. You can also braid your natural hair down, but y'all know me. Y'all know I'm not finna throw no braids in my head. It's gonna always be a ponytail up under my wigs. <laughs> And the cap is nice and breathable and stretchy, so you won't even see the bun is there. Especially since the hair is so big. But what I'm doing right now is I always start with the center clip and clamp it in the center of my leave out. And then I bring the other clip to the front and clamp it down and then I secure the other side. And then I go to the back and pull the wig down and secure it um, with the clip. I mean, I, I keep saying clip, but it's a comb that's in the back and tightened up that strap. So now let's blend our leave out because we do not want our leave out to be looking like it got left out. So <laughs> we don't play that. All leave outs will be blended in seamlessly with whatever texture hair we are putting in our head. So now that I got my part where I want it, I am going to be using some shine and jam to slick my leave out up and blend it in with the curls. So my natural hair is actually curly. Um, I just had combed this part out a little bit because I did have gel on my hair and it was brushed back into a ponytail. So I kind of brushed it out a little bit. We don't want our leave out to be dry either. So of course you have to use some product. Um, I'm using a brush just to kind of brush my natural hair down and then I'm fingering my coils into the coils of the wig. And then I just, I wanted that side to kind of be pinned back a little bit. So I used a pin to pin it back and look how bomb is looking. It's giving natural, it's looking like this hair is coming out of my scalp. We always want to give scalp with whatever wig that we are putting on. And that's pretty much all I had to do to put this wig on, which I love easy, quick hairstyles like this. And I can take it out at the end of the day if I want to, and then just reapply it the next day very easily. So this wig is perfect for the girls that, you know, want to have a hairstyle that they can take off and put on whenever they please. And people be sleeping on the synthetics because they be lasting for a long time, especially if you care for them correctly and keep them in the packaging when you take it off. I've had some synthetic wigs for years and they still look good and I still be rocking them. Especially the premium blend ones. They feel so soft and feels almost like a human hair texture. Drop a comment and let me know how you are feeling this hair. Let me know what it's giving in the comments and make sure you like this video because that does help my channel out so much. And if you are viewing this video and you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and join the Chalk Nation. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.